hello, Watson. Fine afternoon, isn't it? Oh, hello, Holmes. It would be a fine afternoon as soon as I get my tea. Oh, excellent idea, Watson. I don't like a sport of tea in the afternoon. My thoughts exactly, but I've been standing here the longest time and no tea has been dispensed. Oh, really? Oh, uh, my fear, Watson, is that if you remain here, you will also remain tealess for a much longer period of time. Whatever do you mean, Holmes? Well, it's quite obvious, Watson. If you're determined to have pause and wait for this beverage dispensing apparatus to fulfill your stereotypical British need for afternoon tea, your plight will be quite futile, as the power conducting conduit has been interrupted with a blocking device and secured with a locking mechanism. What? This machine has been locked out. But that's so hard to say. What? If this machine has been locked out. Do you have to go on these long-winded speeches when a simple answer would suffice? My apologies, Watson, but there are certain expectations when you're Sherlock out Holmes. You know. Oh, I suppose, but let's try to keep the monologuing to a minimum in this one, shall we? Fine. Well, I'll do my best to meet your reasonable yet seemingly character-depriving request and not overcomplicate the subject at hand. Holmes! But... Sorry. I'll do my best. Thank you. Now back to the issue at hand. Ah, yes, your tea. Or rather, lack thereof. Yes, now we need to find out the reason this machine is locked out. Ah, uh, excellent, Watson. I would surmise, as in all cases where a machine is locked out, some matter of safety risk is afoot. What the safety risk? And who is responsible for interrupting my daily ritual? Well, in all cases where a machine is locked out, the technician or authorized person touches a tag to the lock, identifying themselves as the one responsible. So we find the person on a tag and the mystery will be solved. Or perhaps just beginning. Either way, we have a new challenge before us, my friend. One that'll take us into the depths of the fascinating world of lockout tag out. Then we must proceed with haste. Afternoon tea waits for no man, not even Sherlock and What was the cause for this machine to be locked out? I'm not sure. I came back from break and it was like this. Hey, why would somebody lock out this machine? Well, whenever a machine requires major repairs, Watson, it must be shut down and all power sources isolated. Isolating devices installed, locking mechanisms put in place, and the entire machine brought to a zero energy state. Holmes, Where? you're doing it again. Oh. Sorry. All power must be disconnected so the repairs can be performed safely. I get it now. Lock out the machine so nobody gets hurt. But why is there a lockout over here and here? Isn't one good enough? It's all about bringing the machine to zero energy state or disconnecting all residual power sources. Well, isn't this shutting down a machine? Isn't that good enough? You see, Watson, machines can have many different power sources. Some of these sources can remain active even when the main power has been shut off. So you're saying that this blockhead is for the main power source? Correct. And that one is for the residual power source. Holmes, this is all starting to make sense to me. Well done, Watson. Residual power sources can be electrical, mechanical, or even potential power sources like air or hydraulic lines. So the important thing is, is to make sure nothing can move. Who are you guys, anyway? Why, this is the legendary Sherlock Holmes, the world-renowned detective he is. Does the world-renowned detective have a visitor's badge? Uh, I say, Watson, perhaps it's time we move along. We've bothered this affected employee long enough. Very good, Holmes. Oh, wait. Affected employee? Yes, the affected employee is any employee that would run the machine that's been locked out. So when I didn't get my tea this afternoon, was I the affected employee? Oh, quite so, Watson. Huh. Makes me feel kind of special, Holmes. That you are, Watson. That you are. Holmes! Isn't that the authorized employee we're looking for? Oh, well done, Watson. Indeed it is. 
Hold on a moment, old chap. Are you the mystery individual who is perpetrating these devious acts of de-energizing mechanical apparatuses in the facility? What? This is what I'm talking about. He does this all the time. He goes on and on when a simple, hey, are you the guy that locked up the machine? Would be simply fine. Wait, don't I know you guys? Never mind that. I'm late for my afternoon tea. Tea? What my friend is trying to say is that we noticed that you put an isolating device on the beverage machine in the front print room. Isolating device, Holmes? An isolating device is a mechanical device that prevents the transmission or release of energy. Well, like the lock on the electrical cord isolates the machine from the electricity. Smart guy, but how did you know it's uh, Elementary, my dear Randall. Your picture is on the tag. Well, you got me there. I was asked by the HS and E manager to lock out these devices. There must be some type of a problem in this area, I guess. Watson, it seems the HS and E manager may be the key to unlocking this mystery and the lock on the beverage machine. Then we must move quickly, Holmes. Evening is approaching, and the tea is not getting any warmer. Ah, oh, yes. But proceed with caution. Devious game is a book. Watson, let us enter and question our suspect. In there? Why, yes. Don't you see the sign? What the devil are you doing, Hal? Watson! You can't go in there. That's not an office. It's a confined space. Joe, you're right, Watson. You must never enter confined space. You could be trapped or injured if the door would have shut and the machine would have stopped. Thanks for the warning, Watson. That HSC manager, she knows we're on the trail. Oh, yeah. I know just where to find it. Here we are, Watson. The HSE manager's office. Guys, it's about time you got here. What? I set up that machine hours ago. I cannot believe Watson has gone this long without tea. Set up? Why on earth? It's easy. My name is Claudia Jones, and I'm the new HSE manager here in Huntington. Well, very nice to meet you, but what's the meaning of this? Just lighten up dirty boy. Now you look here. You look here. I needed someone to talk about lockout account and confining space. And you guys were doing nothing but sitting around drinking tea. Hmm. Just as I suspected. The entire event was a ruse meant to deceive us into believing that some unknown perpetrator was following some diabolical plot to interrupt production and afternoon tea by erroneously locking out machines in perfect working order, when in fact... Shut up, Holmes! Sorry. So, how did we do? Not bad, but I have a few more things to remember about lockout tagout. Stay clear of the area as much as possible. Never attempt to assist. Never attempt to operate the equipment that has been locked out. Get prior approval for any housekeeping, cleaning, or lockout machinery. Never interfere or tamper with lock or tag. Report any unusual situation to their supervisor or HSME. There you go, Holmes. Mystery solved. Uh, as an elementary as endeavor as ever, Watson. What are you talking about? You guys were clueless. Well, hardly that. The incident at the machine with the confined space was a dead giveaway that this entire event was staged for our behalf. How so? Well, no one would have believed that you would have led us purposely into a confined space unless the objective was purely instructional. Not to mention, it was ridiculous to think that we would fall for a simple deception as a sign with an arrow. Holmes, you did think it was the hs &E manager's office. Nonsense, Watson. I'm just testing your skills of observation and your knowledge of confined space. Right. <laughs> You're a genius, Holmes. As I said, clueless. Hmm. Watson, it appears our work here is done. Time to move on to our next great adventure. Hmm. How about a spot of tea first? My thoughts exactly, Watson. Now, about this contention you have that I have a propensity to monologue. Well, I feel your assertion is rather unfair, as my purpose is to fully explain... Holmes! That. 